Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're already out and about here at the comic book store. I wanted to come today because I found out they bought a huge collection of Funko Pops, and as you guys know, I like older stuff, so let's go in and see what's new. Or, I guess, older, but newer for them. You know what I mean. And now the first spot that we should check is here in the back, where they've got a lot of really cool stuff, and I'm noticing they even have some older Disney ones, like Mary Poppins. And I believe I do actually need this one for my collection, so 15 bucks. Mm, I might have to go for it today. And then also doing a little bit more digging around, We've got like Alice in Wonderland, some of the Ralph Breaks the Internet, Good Dinosaur, Chernabog. This is funny, this is the newer one. We just got the older one a little bit ago. And then going this way, we've got a bunch of the superheroes. And I love seeing like the older Batman ones like Batman Forever, as well as the Mr. Freeze here done by Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I don't know if you guys remember, there was a time on the channel where I accidentally ordered the exclusive version of him. Like I think it was like three or four times and then people started to send them over. I've had a lot of him in my time. I say in my time, like this was a long time ago. Actually, when did this come out? It was uh, 2020, what am I talking about? And then as we continue to look around, I'm noticing down there we've got some of the Bad Batch ones from Star Wars as well as just like a bunch of Star Wars in general. Then over here we've got like some Marvel stuff, Shang-Chi, also the Glitter She-Hulk is pretty cool to see. Oh and then of course because we are at the comic book store if you guys want to take a look at some of the comic covers I believe this is actually the first time I've ever seen Shazam. Let me see if I can pull one down and show you guys. Here it is if you guys want to take a look. I think this looks really great especially because it is Shazam versus Superman on the front. And then coming over here it looks like you've got some anime stuff. And we've also got some of the turtles down here. Casey Jones, G G.I. Joe. Oh, and then here's one that's pretty interesting. I believe this would be the Dark Crystal. Yeah, it is. Definitely a weird set that I feel like a lot of people forget about. And then, oh, they even have some of the Pez next to that. How weird. And then we've got some of the Rocks characters over here, as well as the MTV Moon person, Sir Mix-a-Lot, and doing some digging. I believe, actually, this one here might be the first time I've ever seen Exit Stage Left from Rush. Oh, and then way up at the top there, they even have some of the Iron Maiden ones. That is Power Slave. And I know it's going to be kind of hard to see, so I'll pop a photo on the screen for you guys. And now we've got to take a look at the other side here, where they've got a lot of their exclusives like the Entertainment Earth ones, which I do believe they get in every single one of them now. But if you guys want to take a look at the entire wall, it just keeps going. And something that I find really cool and I wanted to show you guys was over here. They've got like Jim with Gnome, The Chase, they've got Merida, Ariel, as well as the Chouse Collectibles exclusive Vegeta. I couldn't think of the name for some reason. Oh, and then something that I always enjoy seeing is a lot of the ad icons as well as icons and retro toys. And like one of my favorites down here, check this out guys, the Trouble Board. I mean, come on, look how cool this is. Oh, and you know what guys? I totally pass by these but I figured I might as well show them because this is some of the new stuff that they got and a lot of the horror figures and these ones here are from Bram Stoker's Dracula we've also got Norman Bates as well as Wendy Torrance Jack Torrance and then this one here from I believe this would be if I can get out of here the Exorcist yeah it is this is kind of a creepy one there we go guys definitely a creepy one but I like how they did kind of that green goo on the front it's a nice detail Oh, and over here, guys, is some of their newer stuff. And I want to show it off because apparently they got a restock of the Beast, which is really cool, as well as Aurora, Cinderella, the Light Effects Grogu, and then check this one out, Devil Dinosaur, which is a pop that I've been looking for for a little while now. And I believe he's only like 30 bucks, which isn't that bad. Yeah, he's $30, so we are definitely going to have to get this one today. And now, guys, we of course have to take a look in their more expensive pop section. I want to see if there's anything that we might be on the hunt for today. Actually, now that I say that, there is the Miles Morales Target exclusive. I do need that one. And then also, in terms of like some of the newer stuff, they said like the Superman in general is Zod is new. I also really like that Joker. Leatherface is cool to see. And then I believe those two there from Kingdom Hearts are also new. And then if you guys are wondering, I might as well show off on the right side over here. And I'll do a bit of a backup if you guys want to check out the whole section because there was a lot to look at. All right, so we're back and let's go through everything that I picked up because I ended up getting a box of stuff. Oh, and actually, now that I think about it, I think we should start with this character here, Mary Poppins, because I remembered I already have her. I got her a little while ago over at Toronto Comic Con and for some reason completely blanked in the store. And the good news is the figure's only $15, so it wasn't really like that big of a loss. Plus, it is a pretty nice one. I'm not going to complain about getting two of this. So what I'm probably going to do is bring it to Niagara Falls Comic Con. And if you guys don't know, I have a booth every single year there. And so if you guys can make it out, I definitely recommend it. And if you guys don't know what Niagara Falls Comic Con is like, I do have a bunch of videos on the channel about my booth from last year as well as the past years before that. And it seriously is a lot of fun. We bring t-shirts, I've got stickers, we do mystery bags, I sell pops for a pretty reasonable price, like much more reasonable than, you know, Comic-Con in general. Because really what I'm trying to do is make room for other figures. So if you guys can make it out, I definitely recommend it. And you'll probably see this Mary Poppins at the booth. And now I guess let's get into the next one here, which you guys probably saw on top. It is the Devil Dinosaur from Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. And I was pretty excited about getting this, especially because there is only 
only two of them in the set, and I don't believe I've seen Moon Girl anywhere, like maybe once, and now that I've got Devil Dinosaur, I'm probably gonna have to get her too. Actually, really quickly, let's pop this one out of the box, because I know all Marvel figures are bobbleheads, and I can't really tell if this one is. Uh, no, no, it definitely is. Yeah, that is odd, but if I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't really look bad or like a bobblehead at all. And I mean, take a look at that, guys. It is a really well done figure, and if you guys wanna see, there it is. Like, it kinda makes sense with the way that they made him. So anyway, it's definitely a really cool figure to have, and it's a nice addition to my dinosaur collection. I should probably do a short with all of them, because I do really have a good amount. Because, like, you can even see behind me here, I've got the Therosinosaurus from Jurassic World, and I've got a bunch of others as well. I just have to go dig in for them. All right, then, everybody, let's do my Marvel figures that I picked up for today, because there was two of them. And the first one I've got here is the glow-in-the-dark Wanda Maximoff that I actually had for pre-order there, which is super nice that they were able to save it. And I feel like this might have been the only one they had left. I didn't see any on the shelf, and if there was some, I missed it. Oh, and also, speaking of pre-orders, I did see that there was a guy there, and they didn't have any extra, so I couldn't pick them up today, but they had both of the brandalized ones. And if you guys don't know what those figures are, they're actually the Banksy art turned into Funko Pops. They did two of them. There was the girl floating down on the balloons, as well as the tagging robot, and fingers crossed I can find those ones soon, because I really do want them for the collection. But anyways, taking a look at Wanda a little bit closer up, this really is a nice one. And I believe the only thing that glows on her would be the red bits, at least that's what it looks like. And this one here, actually, now that I think about it, is probably one of the biggest spoiler figures for Doctor Strange, so it makes sense why it released later than every single other one. That and also the fact that Entertainment Earth doesn't let you do pre-orders if you're from Canada, for some reason, on their exclusives. Like, if you guys have found a way to figure that one out, please let me know, because the only way that I've been able to do it is going to comic book stores, and here's the thing, I like supporting locals, so I don't mind, but it just is too bad, because I feel like a lot of Canadians would get them off their website if you could. And then the other Marvel one here we've got is the Miles Morales, normally exclusive to Target, but they happen to have a couple of them there. And as you guys know, there are no Targets in Canada, so it's really cool that they were able to get this one in, and now I just need a few more exclusives, and we've got pretty much the entire set. And I don't know if you guys could tell, I am really excited about this movie, and when it gets closer to it, we're definitely going to be doing a review on it because of the amount of characters Funko's made for it. It'll also probably turn into a video about me wanting all of these other figures, and apparently there's going to be a Spider-Man Canada showing up somewhere, which I'm really excited about. Oh, take a look at this, he's got Jordans on. Oh yeah, that is really Really neat. He's holding a phone with the charger in his pocket. I'm liking this Miles a lot. And now I'm trying to think of some of the other figures that I'm missing for this set. Like there's the collector's box on Amazon, which I don't have, as well as the Spider-Man India FYE exclusive. And then maybe is there a GameStop one as well? I'd have to check. And now I do think out of all of the exclusives though, this one would have probably been the hardest to get in Canada just because we don't really get target exclusives like this. All right, now let's get into the comic cover that I picked up. Pretty fitting because we are over at the comic book store. And the one that I went with was Shazam, just because I really like the Superman in the back there too. And now hear me out, it would have been neat if they did both of them together, even if like they halved the characters and just had like the two of them facing each other, it would have looked amazing. But I understand why they didn't, because it is a Shazam comic cover, it makes sense why they want to have a Superman one and a Shazam one separate, so I'm not gonna complain, but I also, whoa, really like how it looks like he's flying too. I just noticed that, I thought he was kind of on the ground punching, but no, he is not, so really well done, and if you guys want to take a look on the back, that is the comic cover right there. Definitely neat, and these here are some of my favorite ones that they do for these cases, just because they're a good size, pretty much the exact same as a comic book cover. The only problem is I don't have enough wall space to hang every single one of them up. And then everybody, the last figure that I got for today was a bit more of an expensive one. It was actually behind the counter and I was debating on what to get, and they got in a lot of the Turtles ones, so I figured I would go for that. And the one that I grabbed was the FYE exclusive Leonardo. If I'm gonna be honest, I didn't check the price, but they always seem to have pretty good deals there, at least on par with what Pop Price Guide is just in Canadian. And so I was like, you know what, let's go for this one today. And this honestly is a really, really great figure. It's that original turtle too, just in that black and white color. And that's the different exclusive variant. Oh, and also taking a look on the back, it really is cool. And I think the only one that I have out of the original set is Splinter. I don't think I have any of the other ones besides like the turtle van, which isn't on the back. So this really is a cool one to have in the collection. And I know that they did do a black and white version for all four of them, so maybe we'll go for, I know Raphael is a pretty expensive one, but that one could be fun to grab. Also, for anybody wondering on the year that this released, it was 2016, and honestly, for I figure that old, the box is looking pretty clean. And well, anyways, everybody, there we go. That was my box of Funko Pops from the comic book store. And let me know in the comment section below if there's something that you would have picked up if you came with me today. But seriously, though, this has been a lot of fun, and I hope that you guys did enjoy today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow!